birthdays can be time consuming, expensive, and exhausting. But Catherine and Natalie from the Social Common are here with us with easy tips on how to throw a party on a, a budget yes. in your house and not have it take over your life and cause Ugh. mega stress. That's yes, right. Totally. Between the two of us, we have six kids, and we're getting another one in June. Oh gosh, She's getting another one. Hey. This is your third, fourth? My third. No, my third. Wow. Her, yeah, okay, no. Okay, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's <laughs> five plus one, not already six plus one. No, Wait, it's four, two, and I'm. this is three. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Matt, this is exhausting. Now, you know, we have seven parties just on our own that we have to plan, so this is why we so got to do that. we wanted to bring the birthday party back into the home, like when we were kids, and yeah. it's really not that hard. You just have to plan, and you can do it on a budget, too. Okay. So for the toddlers, uh, we like to pick a theme. They love the princesses, superheroes, and pirates. So first thing, craft, right? You want to do a craft. So you get, you get these? Oh, dollar my gosh, store. are you kidding? A oh, it's a dollar. So cute. Right? So you just lay the table out with feathers, jewels, sparkles, Paint. glue, and just let them go. Don't worry about the mess. Uh, don't don't worry about the way it looks, either, because a lot of parents yes. get upset that it's not perfect. Plastic no. bags. But yes. yes. Kids love to be creative, and these crafts double as a loot bag, so you don't also need a loot bag, yeah, right? Because they take home whatever they make. Yes. yes. Okay, so we've got the craft. Then we go to the game. Remember Pin the Tail on the Donkey? I love that game. Well, now we've got Pin the uh, the Star on the Princess Wand. And you know, we know how to play the game. It's super easy. Kids love it. And then you can have prizes that, again, you get at the dollar store or Walmart, mm -hmm. and they think they've won the lottery, but it's just really inexpensive <laughs> for the really prizes. If you're crafty, you can make your own Pin on Pin the Tail, but we choose the dollar, dollar option. <laughs> I, we're just going to buy it. So I was with my sisters who are busy moms, too, and I said one of your tips was throw something off meal times. Yes. For example, yes. make it no lo longer than two hours, say 1.30 yes. to 3.30. Yes. yes. And they're like, uh-uh, parents expect their kids to be fed and they expect a meal. Well, that's their issue, okay? <laughs> we are on a budget and we don't want to serve them a meal. What we will do is we'll do a cake. And you can buy an expensive cake or you can Make your bake own. one. Kids love to bake with mom. Bake it. All of this, four dollars for a cake. The kids. It's, this is for the you kids. Know, I've done birthday parties over mealtime, and they don't eat. They're no, too excited. Yes, they're too hyper. You waste. buy like four pizzas, and they sit down, and then they don't eat. And I'm like, well, that was great. So yeah. just keep it going okay. on a schedule. So out the door. Craft game, and then they like to get physical. So we need an activity, right? We love the glow in the dark dance party. Oh you yeah. You have glow in the dark swords and glow sticks, and it's just simple. You, you know what? They were using this at the closing of the government last I, night. Right. I thought so. Different, party, different party, different party, different use. Different purposes. <laughs> These sticks were ahead. Yes. yes. For so, all ages, I guess. We can <laughs> do this. They do this activity at the end of the play date because they get all, uh, at the end of the birthday party because they get all riled up and then Burn goodbye. Burn off the sugar. Burn yeah. off that sugar. So then we, the older kids are a little bit trickier. So what we decided with them was a station party. So we're going to set up different stations so they can kind of rotate because they're older. So we, our kids actually decorated these cupcakes. So you can bake so them. Cute. You can make them sort of age appropriate. Then they can decorate them. You can either send them home or they can eat them as their cake. Doubles as a cake. So that's yes. up to you. Yes. We also have the throwback to the tie-dye where you get these shirts. So we got five shirts for $4.59. Okay. It is now where. Like, at Walmart, okay. and then we did the doll, dollar store. You spray it, and you can make all different <laughs> designs. And, and then it's you have, so easy. You have every so color mess. down here. You so are the coolest moms with the spray and the paint. And, and the and puff the, paint. And then there's glow in the dark puff paint. paint. Hello. So that's amazing. <laughs> and then. Another tip we did was we did these canvases for a dollar, so they're blank. Oh. Our boys, our three-year-olds actually made these, and Beautiful. our daughter. So we just did glitter, and you can put some tape across, and they paint it. Then they take it home, and they actually hang in their rooms, like our kids. So get them off the screens and off yeah. those expensive, well, we did like, go-to places. Yes, we did a selfie to. station did. where we just threw a little bit of props. It's like the throwback to the photo booth. So they can dress up, they can take a picture in the mirror, and then you can either email it to them or you can mail it to them as a thank you afterwards. So we just kind of had fun. I love that. So it's not so expensive. Not at no. all. They have fun. They get yes. creative. And it's really not hard to keep. A lot of people are nervous to bring the kids into their house to have to take care of all of them. But if you keep them busy, so it's a jam-packed schedule, yeah. then it's actually great. And keep a low number. Like, don't do right. 20 okay, kids. Okay, so how many kids? Well, here's a tip. So everything comes in packs of eight. So don't go like nine or ten, because then you have to buy double of everything. Yeah. So do eight. And there is the age-old rule. Like, if it's a three-year-old, invite three friends. If right. it's a four-year-old, so the, the age they are, that's how many kids they get. For us, it's just, you don't want too many kids because it gets overwhelming and they stop having fun, right? So just So when you're 32 smaller. and you're still living in the house with the parents, <laughs> you get a lot of what? Well, yes. You have 32 people over. Yes, and what? you get your glow sticks and have a dance party in the basement. Exactly. So where do we find more information? Socialcommon.ca. Thank you so much. Socialcommon.ca. Jen, over to you. Great ideas.